Hey everyone. In the years after her death in 1954, the cult-like status surrounding Frida Kahlo made her name universally recognized simultaneously as a symbol of far-left feminism, radical and explicit suffering, and bizarre self-portraiture. This phenomenon, described as Frida mania, has continued into the 21st century, speaking to Kahlo's tremendous posthumous influence. Today, let's know about the brilliant painter who painted her own reality, Frida Kahlo. Let's start the video, but before that, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like this video. How did the folkloric autobiographical artwork of this Mexican painter gain her international celebrity status? Kahlo was multifaceted and exploration of the self are not merely a project of narcissism but rather a projection of trauma, nationalism, love and identity. After a devastating bus accident in 1925, Kahlo was forced to abandon her pursuits in becoming a doctor and soon she turned to painting as a means to express her chronic physical and emotional distress. This event is most directly apparent in The Bus. In the year 1929, one of her earlier works that defined her technical style a raw unsettling realism mixed with a peculiar flatness of surface and stunning color contrasts that has led some critics to label her work as naive art but this is not just a depiction of a tragedy moreover it is a representation of class and race with each figure distinctly separated by the windows of the bus Only the little boy looks out innocently towards the lush landscape only to witness the urban pollution of modernity. Influenced by her volatile marriage to fellow Mexican painter and communist leader Diego Rivera, Kahlo began to merge her personal struggle with the social issues she observed in a stark, uncompromising manner. Kahlo's oeuvre has also been controversially labeled as surrealist. particularly after the movement's founder Andre Breton compared her work to a ribbon around a bomb indeed my nurse and i in the year 1937 and several of her works would appear to be in the same vein as salvador dali evident through the nurse's mask face Kahlo's disproportionate infantile body attached to her adult head and the amplification of natural elements in the background However, Kahlo rejected this label stating, "I never painted dreams. I painted my own reality." As such, my nurse in I is meant to represent Kahlo's rendering of her childhood nurse hired because Kahlo's own mother was unable to feed her. Kahlo suckles a breast that has been reconceptualized as local flora contrasting with the European attire of Kahlo wears. The painting is not so much an intellectual exploration of the unconscious mind but rather it is a reflection of Carlo's mixed German and Mexican heritage. Even in its acclaimed biographical realism though this painting bears much symbolism. For example, the composition of the nurse cradling Carlo is representative of the Pieta, a long-held tradition of Christian iconography that depicts the Virgin Mary holding the dead body of her son Jesus. Carlo thus cast as a sacrificial victim both to her biological roots and social upbringing. These elements of autobiography, identity and uncanny representations of reality are masterfully conveyed in her most recognized piece, The Two Fridas in the year 1939. a symbolic illustration of a split ancestry as well as her recent divorce from a husband it shows the viewer that carlo is overcome with sorrow and agony represented through the gory anatomical features and the stormy backdrop despite its gloomy atmosphere this painting concurrently depicts feminine solidarity of identity even within the confining societal expectations of womanhood this discovery is both isolating yet hopeful 
painful yet unifying. But perhaps what makes this piece so renowned in its redefinition of the self-portrait genre? Instead of depicting her identity as complete and solidified, she captures her fragmented and fluid sense of being, recognizing the instability of female selfhood. Carlo remains a unique voice in the world of painting, her influence echoing beyond the categories that the popular public has attributed to her and contributing to the overall awareness of female, national and autobiographical identities in art. She did once said, at the end of the day, we can endure much more than we think we can. Well, that's it for today. I hope you're liking Nerdy's discoveries. Can't wait for the next video to learn more and be fascinated about. See you on the next. Bye.